Hey everybody. Wow. It's Monday morning. <laughs> we have a problem, guys. Oh we have goodness. literally a problem. Oh my goodness. And there's this and problem. And it's not me and it's not him. This problem has a deadline, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we're going to tell you about our problem. We're going to figure out what we're going to do about our problem. And we'll hopefully show you the results in this video how we're going to fix our problem. Our problem, honestly, is... So much to do. This. Yes. This is our problem. And look at the lawn. I've got to mow. Look how tall it is. The lawn is, is shaggy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Donna is stressing out because she wants to mow. And I need to mow. And we want to film. And we have friends coming. I got a ship. We have friends coming tomorrow. Um. Anyway, hi. If you're new to the channel, we're sorry. We kind of get into this. Uh, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Hour Treasures. And we are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. Three homers of stuff. We have a project tomorrow 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 is the deadline yes. and in order for this project to work we have to move a lot of this stuff behind us okay so should we tell them what the project yeah, is what's our project all right here's our project that big box and this big box yep right there we are finally doing it what's it called a mini split is that what it's called a mini split yes we are finally doing it We've been talking with our friends Larry and Ruth, and they have mini split, and they had mini splits in their old house. And we've been talking about putting a mini split out here. And then our and friend. And we went to visit their house, and the mini split was blowing on me. And it was so cool. Yes. <laughs> and then my friend Mike down in Kansas City commented on one of the videos when it was so hot and the air conditioner wasn't keeping up. And he's like, You guys need a mini split. And so Ooh. then we got to talking, and we made the decision like a couple of weeks ago, you know what? Larry and Let's Ruth assured us it's the best idea. <laughs> yes. So, so so we did it. So we ordered it <laughs> and it came in. And tomorrow we have an electrician and we have our friend coming and we are going to install this mini split. Problem is, it's going up there. Here, here, here. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. The problem is, it's going right there yeah over there on that wall <laughs> so what do we do well so we've do we moved do? things i get to tell him where to move the boxes what's new donna <laughs> yeah um no why, we work well together why are we doing a mini split donna explain that quick because look at this this is what we use in the winter it's a kerosene blowing heater like a forced air it blows and so we have to keep we put it at the end open. and it blows and we have to have all this open because we don't want to burn the house down so yeah. that's problem number one and then problem number two is our little air conditioning unit over here that we put in has worked great but when it does get like 95 degrees and above it does not keep up it struggles we so we put fans and try to move the cool yeah we 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 blow the air all around the place so when it wasn't keeping up and then like i said we've been talking to ruth and larry and then mike said you guys need a mini split we're like should we just do it so we're doing it all right donna wants to start on this while i pull orders and do the shipping because the sunshine is coming and it's nice outside right now and she wants to work while it's still nice out so i'm gonna pull orders and ship we're gonna come check back on donna and i'll also while i'm doing that explain why we can't just take this stuff to storage so let's go Okay, so while Donna is working on that, I'm going to be pulling orders and showing you what sold. And six of them were already upstairs in the garage, so I pulled them already because we just listed them in the last few days. We've been very, very busy trying to move stuff, getting ready for this thing in the garage. And I'll explain to you why we thought we were going to be more ready and have it be a lot easier than it is. And I'll explain to you why that hasn't been the case. And it makes complete sense. And we're going to show you some what solds. So those six that I already pulled, they're right over here. All right, first of all, we have this 1989 Holy Bible. And Donna has Lake Co. I don't know what Lake Co means, like, like where we got it from. I'm not sure what that means. But this sold for $24.99 is going to San Diego, California. So that's going out. And then also, same day she listed this, and then yesterday it sold. This is a Dakes Anointed, Annotated, I'm sorry, Annotated Reference Bible, Old and New Testaments. And this sold for 
This she also had as Lake Co. So I'm not sure what that means. This sold for $30 and it is going to Alabama right there. The next thing, yesterday we were working in the garage side by side and she hands this to me and she says, here, this is for you. It was in a box she was working. And it's three Sony DVD-R for Handycam uh, discs. And so I said, you know what? I bet those would be good sellers. I looked them up, listed them for 30 bucks, and they sold like two hours later. So those are going out. And they are headed to Florida. Those discs came from the Iowa cleanout that we did two weekends ago, I think. I think it was two weekends ago. I don't know, we've been so busy that it's kind of hard to keep track sometimes. Uh, also from Iowa, there was a Samsung little, uh, what do they call that, S860 camera, digital camera. It's eight megapixels, so when I got it, I didn't think much of it. I thought, ah, it's probably not worth anything, but I tested it out, it works, and it sold for $39.99 plus shipping. The guy that bought it is on vacation. He's gone for a few days, so he asked me if I'd wait as long as I could to ship it. So I told him the best I could do is ship by the end of day on Tuesday. So I'll hold this back and I'll make the label and take it, I'll, I'll ship it end of day on Tuesday and I'll actually take it out Wednesday morning. That way he can get back from his vacation before it shows up in the mail. So we can do that and not get dinged for late shipping. Oh yeah, and that is going to San Diego, California. All right, next up, Donna bought a whole bunch of ruby red glass things at a garage sale. I actually got like two different sets at a couple different places and this is part of a garage sale buy. It's a butter dish and this sold for $14.99 and it is going to North Carolina. And then in the turtle buy there's this blue cobalt blue Fenton painted turtle signed on the bottom and we found that and Donna listed it and it sold for $50 plus shipping right there and it is going to New York. As I was uh, just doing this, I just got an offer on an item. And I really wish this was real time where I could get uh, advice and see what you guys would do. Tell me what you would do in this case. The item is for a video game and the selling price is $13.99 plus shipping. And we just got an offer for $2.50. First of all, it's not even a state that we need on the board so they'd probably get a better deal if it was honestly but two dollars and fifty cents what would you do would you i assume you wouldn't take the take the offer i mean it's thirteen dollars and it's 250 would you either decline the offer or would you counter offer and if you counter offered would you counter offer pretty high pretty close to the original price or would you come down some like to ten dollars or something i'm just curious like what you would do when we get really bad offers like this, a lot of the times I just decline them. I just, I ain't got time for that. I don't, I know we can set minimum offers on the listings, but we don't, we don't get offers like this very often. So it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes I'll, if I feel like playing the game, I'll come back like with a high, close to regular price offer, but like we're really busy. I ain't got time for this. So I'm just going to decline it. But what would you do? All right, that offer is declined. And next up, more Ruby Red. We have this tote that doesn't have a home yet, but this is tote of ruby red plates and glasses that she listed all these. And in here, there's two different sets of dinner plates, and I assume they're on the bottom, so I'm gonna dig and get these. All right, I dug these out, and man, these are thick, and they are heavy. Look how thick them things are. That's ruby red glass dinner plates for them. Jeepers, what do them plates weigh? Let's see. Take a look and see. Seven and a half pounds right there for those plates. Them things are solid. Uh, they sold for $34 and they're going to Michigan. And if you just love them, there is another set of them in the tote. All right, the rest of the stuff I have to pull as we go. Um, I wish I, when you look around the down here, it's a mess, like it's bad. And like this big box this i just got shipping boxes in from ebay and so that i'm going to recycle i'm going to recycle a couple of these bigger boxes um these i'll use those have stuff in them you know this don't have a home yet but yeah i would love to get down here and clean and organize again you know do that every now and then but we've been so focused on trying to move stuff to get ready for this mini split installation and it has been a bigger challenge than I thought it would be, and here's why. So when we decided to do this mini split, anytime, if you guys have followed us for a long time, there are many times where our garage is completely packed full. 
and when we need to move stuff fast, it's really not a problem. There's other times in other videos where like, we need to get this garage emptied because we have this coming up, okay? So a lot of times what we do, just start sorting boxes because a lot of times when it's really full like that, it's after either an estate clean out or a storage unit. And as we sort, then there's a lot of things in there that get recycled or thrown away, honestly. Um, the pick through crap and it just gets, and we're able to get rid of a lot that way. Well, the problem out there is that is all hand-picked stuff. The stuff from Iowa, we picked all that stuff. Yeah, it was kind of dark and we were in a hurry, but we picked it. That's the stuff we've been like doing discovery videos. Uh, stuff from the fr helping the friend with the uh, the apartment that was abandoned. Uh, that stuff we handpicked. That's out there. The fire buy. That's all good stuff. The garage sales. There's boxes and totes of garage sale stuff. We handpicked that stuff. So as we thought, you know, a week ago, we knew when this was happening and we're like, okay, we got the next week. We're going to knock all this stuff out. It's going to be great. And it's, it's not like normal because we go out there to work and we can only work through two, three totes. We've been listing a ton of stuff on eBay and on dollar auction. We've been killing it on dollar auction. eBay was really slow over the holidays, but we've been listing a ton of stuff, but you're only doing two or three boxes of totes at a time because it's good stuff. So now we have two storage units. Well, they're both pretty full. I mean, yes, we could go in there, rearrange them, stack up, and fill them more. But we really don't want to because, you know, we don't want... The goal isn't to have two full storage units in a full garage. The goal is to list and sell the stuff. So uh, we actually have been contacted twice, two times, and somebody shared something else with us, but two times in the last week about possible picks estate private picks type things and we've re we've said yeah we're interested but it's kind of reluctantly uh because we, we don't have any place to put it and i don't as much fun as it is i know you know the saying is that you make your money when you spend the money when you buy the stuff but if we don't get it listed it does us no good so as much as we thought hey we're just going to work really hard for the next week we'll have plenty of room to do this mini split it has not worked out that way so that's why we're having to move a bunch of stuff because we can't we're not going to throw this stuff away and we're not going to you know we got to do something with it and we have to go through it and list it and it's not working so that's the situation we're in we'll get it done we'll get the mini split put in and it's going to be awesome we're excited about it but yeah it's not working out as smoothly as we had hoped that's and so that basically what i was saying down here i would love to come down here and spend you know, an hour down here and just really organize, clean, take the boxes out that need to go to recycle, you know, just organize it, but haven't had a chance to, but I plan to do it sometime soon. All right, next up in the video game drawer, there's a little bitty game back here and it's Treasure Planet. And that is a, what is that? A Game Boy Advance? Yeah, Game Boy Advance game. That sold for $8.98. And that is going to Vermont? Look at that. That's Vermont. And Donna's not even in here. That's going to Vermont. That's a new state. That brings us down to two states, New Hampshire and Alaska. We're going to color that in. We're going to have two states left. And when we fill this, we're going to do a drawing for a $50 gift card to eBay when that is full. Also, when we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're going to do a $50 gift card drawing once we hit that and we are at right now 1988 so we are only 12 away from 2000 so hopefully by the time the next video comes out we'll be announcing how we're going to do that next up we got this this is an old logo tag here ched quality knits made in the usa this is just a little size large uh tia what's this called tia maria it's just a vintage usa shirt and we picked them up. We got them in a bundle. Really didn't pay. I don't think anything for them. Uh, I got an offer for $4 for that. So it's going to California for 4 bucks. Next is in box 61. It is a little wristlet that Donna listed. It is right here. A little coach wristlet. Donna picked this up for a dollar at a garage sale. And it sold for $14.50. And it is going to Florida. Next up from the turtle buy is in the movie cabinet here. This Dexter right here, complete series box. That sold for 
$20 and is going to Missouri. Also from the Turtle Buy, I know that this sold two. Columbo, the complete series of Columbo. This is brand new sealed. This sold for $33.39 and it is going to Ohio. So there he goes. Next up, way back here in the corner, and this is where I'd really love to get all this cleaned up. Box AA. Don't see much from back here. This was a garage sale pickup, paid $1.50. This is a model, still uh, sealed, lifelike hobby kits, Rebel Shogo Roadster. That sold for $22.04, and it is going to Indiana. I really don't enjoy doing this as much without Donna, but it's the way it is today. Too much to do, too much to do. Uh, next up, this is from Iowa, and this is, you saw this in a previous video. Go to our records drawer right here. We'll move our reel, and here's our Bruce Springsteen sealed live five album kit. What do you box, box set? That sold for $80, and it is going to Florida. The next item is already pre-packaged. Uh, I packaged it when I had sold it. Should be right in this box. It should say auger on it. Awesome auger. That's what it says right there. I'll pop up a picture of what this actually is. It's like a gardening auger that you put on a drill or something. I think it has a drill too. But this sold for $20.99 and it's going to Wyoming funny I actually saw that that was still here like two weeks ago I was back there getting something or putting something away and I saw that box and I thought man I thought that would have sold a long time ago so it was like $25 I lowered the price a few dollars and it did sell next up is another glass garage sale item that Donna found it says it's in box 99 which we'll just bring out here and in here we have probably this right here it is it's a red candy dish let me get this out Donna paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale, and it sold for $12, and that is going to Georgia. It's a nice piece there. Not as dark as the ruby red, huh? Uh, there's three more things to show you, and then we'll uh, catch up on the garage and see what's going on out there. The next thing we sold once before, it is this 1984 can collection. I got two of these at a garage sale, $5 a piece. Sold the first one for 50 or 40 I don't remember for sure. Uh, and it's this one here I listed and it sold for let's spin these around here it sold for $45 and it is going to Omaha Nebraska two more things to go and here is box E this is a hallmark ornament and it is which one is it this one right here holding a little puppy dog that sold for $14.99 plus shipping and that is going to Florida Last item is from a private pick from about a month ago. Paid $100 for a bunch of stuff. And it was some Cutco knives. And there's one of the Cutco knives that we sold. I kept all the knives. I didn't list the knife holder. I kept all the knives in the knife holder while we were selling them. And it's the last one in here. And this one has a tip issue. It's like the tip might be broken a little bit or, you know, bent or... It's like it might just have the tip oops sorry that wasn't on the camera might have the tip broken off a little bit so it did uh take less for this sold this for twelve dollars the cut code number 1023 sold for twelve dollars and it is going to florida uh we'll decide uh whether this cutco knife holder is worth ebay or on dollar auction but we'll do something with it and that is it that is 19 things i'm gonna get packed up and shipped out and we're gonna go back to the garage check on donna it might wait until she's done to film i'm gonna check with her uh and i'm gonna have her color in vermont later but now we're down to two states new hampshire and alaska and we're almost to 2,000 subs so we got some gift cards to come we'll give away coming up real soon so let's see what's going on with the garage Ooh. all right here's the garage there's donna she's been busy she's hot She's sweaty, <laughs> but she's getting a lot done. So here's the section that we kind of need just past here and before there. That's where we're going to mount it up there. I got to move that table Yep. and everything under it. So what'd you do with everything? I'm taking some to storage. I've marked the boxes so we know what they are. So I've marked the boxes. We have just a little bit from Iowa left. 
So we'll bring more Iowa stuff home so we can continue to do like unboxings. Yeah. And um, I found some garage sale stuff that we hadn't worked yet that we got beginning of this garage sale season. So Good. it's still over here. Um, yeah. So we're going to just take some of this to storage and make it a little bit easier to process like we did before. And, and then we'll be able to bring... We can keep the Iowa stuff separate because we have a bunch in storage that we haven't shown you guys. So to do those kind of unboxing discovery videos, we can continue to pull from that Iowa stuff because you haven't seen that. And the stuff that's in the storage definitely because a lot of it came from the shed that you guys never saw. Oh yeah, the shed. Yes. Yeah. So that's where we're at. This is going to work out. We're going to have all this open. This will be gone and everything under it. We'll be able to put ladders up, mount it up there. Obviously, we're not going to be able to stack things as high because we're going to need the airflow, but that's the plan. Also, Donna, Vermont now has an X on it. So, I'll have so you now color we need later. New Hampshire and Alaska. Yes. Okay. And we're almost to 2,000 subs. So I told them they got two $50 gift cards. Going to be drawn soon. As soon as we get those two things done. When we get to 2,000? Yes. Okay. Don't get me all pot and sweaty. Well, it's too late. <laughs> all right all right let's wrap this up so i can get this video out get all the shipping done get this video out and have a good day today so come over here donna you're out in the heat and i don't i don't want to melt oh my goodness i'm hot uh, sweaty you guys so all right quick <laughs> thank you everybody for watching we appreciate all of you like and subscribe and share with your friends we're almost there yeah we are happy heart treasures i'm steve i'm donna we'll see you on the next one bye